Any other questions? How did I get myself to write it? Oh, well, <laughs> um, it probably goes back to, well, that's a long story, but I'll try to make it really quick. I was addicted to methamphetamines from uh, age 20 to about 22, and I was a hardcore drug addict, and I almost died two or three times. And uh, so I had to leave San Francisco, which was such a beautiful place because I wasn't capable of enjoying it for what it was. And I went back to my hometown of Wichita, Kansas. Went to therapy for about a year, and then she asked me, what do you want to do with your life? And I said, well, music's really been the only thing that I could count on. Like, that was the only thing that was always there for me if I needed to do something or process my emotions. And I've been actually playing music and doing musical things since I was about six years old. Um, so after all of that stuff, after I moved to Denver, um, I just started recording and recording and recording. And um, I have 14 albums on iTunes, um, and most of it's crap. But a lot of it's really good, and you know, I'm the kind of person that thinks that, you know, like Amy Mann and some other people, they're like, I only write so many songs. And I'm like, well, how do you do that? <laughs> how do you only write so many amazing songs? You can't, to me, you know. The, my idea is that if you write a whole bunch of crap, two or three of those are going to be pretty solid. <laughs> You know, and you just keep going and keep going, and all of a sudden you might have 14 or 15 like excellent songs and like 200 crappy songs. So, I mean, that's I guess my answer to that because by the time I got to writing that musical, I was already um, constantly doing something or, or working on music somehow, and I felt like I had a lot to prove to myself for the first couple of years that I was here at UCD because I started when I was 25 and I know a lot of you are a little bit younger than that and um, when you're 25 and you're like going to go to school for four more years, you're like, I better be good. <laughs> <laughs> because by the time I graduate, I'm gonna be almost 30, you know? So you might as well make it worth your time and, and try to do as much as you can, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a real ghetto set up <laughs> that I've had since I started recording. It has not changed much. Other, well, there's been some pricey things I've added to it. But basically, I use a Bluebird microphone, which is supposedly set up for male vocals. It's about $500. Um, I have a Roland Phantom X8 synthesizer, which is about $3,500 when I got it about four years ago. Um, I use Adobe Audition because I am not a nerd. I cannot sit there and be like, oh, I'm gonna do this today. <laughs> I can't deal with all that stuff. I just wanna record it and then like maybe like do a couple things, but then just, you know, that's the key. Like if any of you are wanting to become prolific songwriters or something, don't get all hung up about, oh, this just doesn't sound the way I want it to. Well, if it's never going to sound the way you want it to. And if you keep like stopping yourself from producing work, then it, you won't get better. So make a shitty song, you know, move on with your life and keep going and keep making more and more music because you just get better as you keep doing it, you know? And the way I like to think of it, you know, with these 14 albums I have on iTunes, that's like a journal of my life over five years, you know? I can sit there and listen to them and be like, yeah, you know, technically this is a piece of crap, but, you know, that's what I was going through, or, you know. So that's just the way to think about that, is just keep making work. And, and you know, a lot of people sit there and like, I'm an artist and blah, 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 and they have like two paintings. You know, and it's like, you have to build a body of work so that you can keep going and you can really call yourself an artist because you can look at it and be like, that's me, right there. So, that's does that answer your question? <laughs>